What have you done to ch- turn things around here? Um, I've put in really clear systems and really clear structures um, and alongside that made sure that the staff's confidence and morale was significantly boosted because staff had spent a long time um, being very willing and working really hard but not feeling they were making the progress um, as a result of that work. So that was a really important factor. Um, It was making the staff feel very positive about coming to work and doing their job. What sort of things were going wrong in the past? How, how, How were the kids not sort of responding? There was um, some issues over poor behaviour and attitude. Mm -hmm. Um, There was a lack of um, creativity in the curriculum um, and lack of exciting opportunities for the children, so there wasn't that motivation to want to come to school. The staff were really tired and really um, worn down as a result of being in special measures for so long, so they weren't always giving their best. And, and there'd also been a lack of direction uh, that had been, hadn't been commun- that direction hadn't been communicated to the staff very well, so they didn't feel they knew where they were going. Tell us a bit more about the, the sort of more exciting curriculum you've brought in here. What all sort of things are kids doing now? The, we've really re, re, we've really re-energised ICT by having it in a really high profile area of the school, so that when children are doing ICT it's in the hub of the school and that's really brought the school to life and in addition we've introduced loads of after school activities because children in other schools their learning doesn't stop at half past three and here everything was finishing at half three and sometimes to get a child motivated it isn't to get to do their maths it's not about giving them more maths it's sometimes about giving them a game of basketball to play after school you know and that that's really improved the school attendance because children have got a more invested interest in wanting to come to school because there's so much more on offer do you think that uh, discipline has played a part as well in, in what you've been doing here? Yeah, absolutely. I feel that the staff need, needed to have very firm structures and systems in place, and so did the children. And so I have introduced a very strict and very um, tight discipline procedure, which has paid dividends. The atmosphere in school is now really calm. The children are much, much better motivated, and so it has paid off. What did you do? Give them lines, attention? What was, this one was really bad. Um, I initially had to do some exclusions and um, some temporary exclusions and I had to in- introduce um, detention at lunch times and interestingly the number of children in detention at lunchtime has um, halved since I started in May. And I think that you do the negative stuff but alongside you do lots of positive stuff so when children are feeling like they're being noticed and praised for when they're doing things that are good then actually they don't mind the, the other side of it. Tell us about the lights. How, do, how does that work? The, um, the lights subtly change during the day according to what we feel the children need. So, for example, when they're getting to that mid-morning flagging time when they really want to be out at play or having something to eat, the lights get slightly brighter so the children are re-energised. And then after lunch and playtime, when the children are a little bit hyper and a bit overexcited, the lights are slightly dimmer so that calms the children down when they come into the classroom. And you use music in a similar way as well, don't you? We use music at Key, uh, for key lessons, um, particularly for big writing on a Friday. Um, during big writing, we actually manually dim the lights even further. So, and some teachers will have like a lava lamp on or a spotlight on, and then music will be played. And um, and the next stage from that is that some staff want to introduce some diffusers to actually change the smells in the classrooms as well. We're experimenting with lots of different things. Children like novelty, don't they? At the end of the day, and I think that what's difficult to analyse is: is it the novelty value that's having an impact? Or is it the actual music that's having the impact? And I suppose only time will tell, really. How do you see the school going in a, uh, the next five years or so? The, the, the children here are absolutely wonderful. They're so well motivated. They are, they are really enthusiastic when you introduce anything new. The parents are really supportive. And the, the building blocks are now in place for this school to be an outstanding school.